Tonight on BCN Weekly News, crime on campus. In this week's special report, Esteban Reyna shows what we know so far about the car that got stolen earlier this week. Also, if I was you, I'd want to be blue too. Interested in becoming the new Berea College mascot? Stay tuned to hear more about this. Interested in a live musical performance? Berea College's concert choir introduces the annual spring performance. All of this and more coming up soon tonight on BCN Weekly News. Live from BCN Arts Studio in Berea, Kentucky, this is BCN Weekly News. Good evening and welcome back to another newscast of BCN Weekly News. My name is Matt Carmack. Following the increase in car theft in the city and the country, a car property of the college got stolen earlier this week. Our reporter Esteban Reyna has all the details in this week's special report. Esteban? According to public safety, on Monday, April 18th, a man came to the Hayford Gibson parking lot and stole a car. Although this is an ongoing investigation, this is what we know. According to public safety, the man who stole the car was first seen entering the Mueller Student Crafts building. After seeing other workers in the building, the suspect left the premises. An hour later, the man returned to the area and stole an unattended facilities management pickup truck. Where they found a, a vehicle that was uh, unoccupied and uh, we were able to enter that. It was a, a college-owned vehicle um, and, and made off with the, with the vehicle after that. We do have quite a bit of camera footage of the incident, so we were able to turn that over to Berea Police to help aid in their investigation. The Berea Police Department took over the case and is looking out for the thief. The Director of Public Safety, Brad Cole, encourages everyone to lock their car doors and to make sure to not leave any valuables inside the car. Reporting from the Hafer Gibson parking lot, Esteban Reina, BCN Weekly News. Thanks, Esteban. We hope the Berea College Police Department will find the stolen property and the thief. The fall semester introduced the new mascot to the college, Blue the Bear, has now become an iconic staple to the Berea name. Thursday, April 7th, the Director of Publications and Media Relations, Abby Dars, sent an email ad to the student body regarding an opening to become Blue. The labor position is now open for both the upcoming fall and spring semester. Some of the requirements for this position include being at least 5 foot 6, promoting the school spirit and having good time management skills. To apply, students can fill out an application on the Marketing and Communication Berea website. The Mountaineer Blue mascot is someone who can be energetic, someone who's outgoing, someone who knows how to enjoy and invigorate a crowd. Well, so not just someone who's fun and enjoys having fun, but somebody who's also very organized. Um, entertaining crowds at athletic events. So all of our indoor events, volleyball games, men's and women's basketball games, but these are the kinds of athletic events. And so that would be the prize. We hope that students take advantage of this new labor opportunity. Coming next on BCN Weekly News, interested in a live musical performance? Berea College's concert choir introduces their annual spring performance and a vinyl music for a great cause. Berea College Radio invites everyone to attend this year's live vinyl thought event on Saturday. We'll be right back after this short break. More than 90% of a child's brain develops before the age of five, making these early years critical for future success. Fortunately, togetherness can go a long way to support learning development. Reading, counting, playing, together. It's really that simple to increase your child's readiness to open up a world of possibilities. This is Kentucky where the only thing ordinary is the unexpected. Come see for yourself. Plan your trip at KentuckyTourism.com. I'm getting vaccinated against COVID-19. Yes, there could be some short-term side effects from the vaccine, but they go away in a day or two. Those are signs that my body's building protection. It's worth it to avoid serious problems from COVID-19 disease. Thanks for staying with us. The concert choir director, Zhang Tang Hong, proudly presents an upcoming performance for the choir. 
The spring concert will take place Sunday, April 24th in the Gray Auditorium. Dr. Hong announces audience members can expect both classical and contemporary music in the program. Additional solos and desk cam voice parts will be performed by the Chamber Singers Ensemble. Students can also receive convocation credit by attending this event. Some additional perks of the concert include a string quartet, chamber orchestra, and additional voice students who will perform Dan Forrest's arrangement of Light Beyond Shadow. The concert is the last opportunity to reach the convo credit and a nice way to relax at the end of the semester. On Saturday, April 23rd, Bria College Radio will hold its first live vinyl thon in the Seabury Lawn area. With 12 straight hours of live vinyl music, Berea College Radio will host a paint a record activity, give out cut of corn, and lay a bounce house for everyone to enjoy. People are encouraged to donate money, which will be given to the Berea Arts Council. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. I'm Matt Carmack. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Berea College Radio, and watch the show online at www.bcnewsradio.com. Good night.